we are bombarding the heavensly with prayer and fasting. We're intentional about this. And our Kingdom Snipers, you know that our prayer period and fasting period is divinely aligned with what we're learning in the Institute right now. So I want to invite each of you, each of you, everyone, <laughs> Sniper Fast. 2021.com for all details. We have a fasting protocol. We have points to ensure that you'll uh, uh, complete this fast successfully. Come on, share, just share. Okay. Give me so first, I didn't even know what an orphan spirit was. And God used you in mighty ways to set me free. And I know that this is just the beginning. So I just thank you because he knows what we need and when we need it. The course can be accessed via phone or computer at your demand. Evangelist Latrice Ryan Ministries presents Revival and Lunch. Thank you so much for connecting with us. Maybe I've met you on the Awakening Prayer Call. Maybe it was at your church conference. But listen, I want to invite you to unshakable faith. When I tell you it will be life changing, it will be powerful. This is the revival of the year. This is our revival and I want you to be there. If you need an awakening, if you need a revival, if you're ready for your life to go to the next dimension, if you are ready for something new, if you are ready for something, you ready to birth that thing out. You need to be at Unshakable Faith. I want to see you there. The Unshakable Faith Revival and Luncheon. Isaiah 61 in its entirety. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified, and they shall build the old ruins, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the ruined cities, the desolations of many generations, strangers shall shall stand and feed your flocks and the sons of the foreigners shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers but you shall be named priests of the Lord they shall call you the servants of our God you shall eat riches of the Gentiles and in their glory you shall boast instead of your shame you shall have double honor instead of confusion they shall rejoice in their portion Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery for burnt offering. I will direct work in truth. And I will make them an everlasting covenant. Their descendants shall be known among the Gentiles. And their offspring among the people. All who see them shall acknowledge them. That they are the posterity whom the Lord has blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. Lord, my soul shall be joyful in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decks himself with ornaments, as a bride adorns herself with jewels. For as the earth brings forth its bud, as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Psalms 24 in its entirety. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath found.
founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place he that hath clean hands and a pure heart who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation this is the generation of them that seek him that seek thy face O Jacob Selah lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted up hallelujah 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 and your glory fills this place hey, yeah 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 and your glory fills this place yes god and your glory fills the temple yes it does and your glory fills the temple yes it does surround us with your glory hashakaya surround us with your glory surround us with your glory hallelujah surround us with your glory and your glory fills the temple and your glory breaks yokes and your glory restores bodies and your glory heals the land and your glory makes well and your glory makes well and your glory makes well you'll do all things well you'll do all things well you'll do all things well you do it well you do it well we stand amazed at your glory we stand amazed at your power we stand amazed at your splendor we stand amazed at your glory God your glory fills the temple your glory breaks down the oaks your glory breaks down barriers for you are Alpha and Omega yes you are you are the beginning and the end yes you are you are the great I am yes you are you are the rose of Sharon yes you are you are my battle axe yes you are you are my mighty God yes you are you are my mighty King yes you are my soul makes a boast in the Lord my soul makes a boast in the Lord hey my soul makes a boast in the Lord my soul makes a boast in the Lord I brag on your presence I brag on your splendor I brag on your mighty I brag on your miracles you do miracles so great ha you do miracles so great you do miracles so mighty you do miracles so amazing you are my amazing God you are my advocate you are my the author and the perfecter of my faith you are my beginning and my end you are my praise of Sharon you are the bread of life when I am hungry when I am thirsty I can run unto you when I am filled God you fill me from bread of heaven you fill me with manna you fill me with I want no more you feed me till we want no more you feed me till I want no more your bread I shed up a your tent the table is spread the table is spread and the feast of the Lord it's going on the feast of the Lord it's going on the feast of the Lord it's going on we bless your name we adore your name we lift up your name some men call you counselor some men call you wonderful some men call you amazing but I call you my everything I call you my savior I call you my healer I call you my deliverer I call you my righteous seed I call you my way maker I call you my heavy load sharer I call you the head of the church you are holy 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 you are my father you are my strength you are my healing you are my king you are my lord you are my strength you are my source you are my everything you are the song in my heart you are my target you are my aim you are my goal I love 
Come on in, magnifying glory to God. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to day two of the Faith on Fire corporate prayer and fasting. This is our second day that we are fasting and praying. We are fasting, praying, and calling on the name of Jesus. We are fasting, praying, and lifting up the great I am. We are fasting, praying, and proclaiming. We are proclaiming the word of God. We are proclaiming what thus saith the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we are calling on the Lord. Rabba Shata. We are calling on him. We are drawing nigh unto him. We are getting between the porch and the altar. We are positioning ourselves. Glory to God. Rabba Shandorabasayata. We are positioning ourselves to seek him. We are calling on him. We are seeking him. We are proclaiming his word. We are standing in victory. We are enforcing an already established victory. We are not begging for victory. We are not Rebekora. We are not begging for victory. We are not begging for God to do anything. It's already done. And what we do, we stand and proclaim. We declare with power and authority. We state it with, with yet yeah, God with dominion. We don't state it with fear. We don't speak it with uncertainty, but we speak it with power. We speak the word of God with power. So we are coming together and we are fasting. <laughs> Glory to God. Come on in Facebook. You know what to do. Tag your prayer partner. Share it with somebody. Send it. Tag your prayer partner, your prayer assignment, the one that God is laying on your heart right now. You tag somebody and you let them know we are praying for you. You tag them and you let them know, don't you give up because you're too close. You tag them and you let them know that the enemy is a liar. You thought the enemy tried to make you think that God had forgotten about you. God has not forgotten. He is mindful of his word. His ear is not short. His ear is not deaf. His ear is not heavy. His hand is not short. He is mighty to save. God does not have amnesia. He is mindful of you. Come on, come on, Instagram. In the name of Jesus, as we are logging on, you log on praying. You log on fasting. Y'all, you pray. You, you tag somebody who's never fasted before. Tag somebody who's never done this before. Tag somebody who's never prayed and got up in the morning and set aside intentional, being intentional prayer. Come on, you tag somebody who's never done it before. Glory to God. Tag somebody who don't know Jesus. Robo and ask them and you say, you know, I believe that you can fast for one full day. I believe in the name of Jesus that God gives you the strength to fast. I believe and you declare over their life that they will not fail in this fast. I believe that you can do it. Ramasha, there is nothing. You can do all things through Christ. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. You can do it. Why? Because we are not led by the God of our belly. We are not led by the God of flesh. Come on. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. As we are abstaining from food, what are we doing? We are praying. What are we doing? We are getting in the word. What are we doing? We are creating an atmosphere of worship. What are we doing? We are drawing close to our father. What are we doing? We are renewing our relationship with the Lord. What are we doing? We are calling those things that be not as though they are. What are we doing? We are not entertaining demons. We are not entertaining flesh. We are crucifying the flesh. Come on. You, we make no room for the flesh. We give the flesh no room. We give the flesh no glory. We give the flesh no space. Hey! It ain't spooky. It ain't deep. It's a consecration. Rabbi, it's a depth. It's a desire of wanting a greater depth in God. It's a desire of wanting a closer walk with thee. It's a desire where we say we're not seeking after your hand, but we are seeking after your face. We are not running for the fish and loaves, but God create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit in me. Rabbi, the name of this fast is our faith on on fire. Ha! And we believe in the name of Jesus that this week God is setting your faith on fire. God is lighting a flame to your faith. God is calling a revival to come back to your faith. We've been in the pandemic. We've been shut down. We've been asleep. We've been dormant. We've been idle. But God says now is the time to wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Now is the time to sound the alarm. You have been running on empty. Glory to God. 
God for the last 15 months. But God said, this is the set time that I am refilling you. This is the set time that I am recharging you. This is the set time. Glory to God that you, I'm showing forth my miracle signs and wonders. My faith is being revived. My faith is going to another dimension. My faith, my faith is going to another place in God. I will not believe for the small things. Come on, for some of you, your testimony, God healed you from cancer. God healed you from COVID. God healed you from all kinds of sicknesses. And watch this, for many of us, God healed you from yourself from your own destruction. And do you think in the name of Jesus uh, that God is gonna let the enemy have the last say? The devil is a liar. Come on here, somebody, your faith is on fire. I'm being revived and I declare in the name of Jesus, supernatural revival to your faith, supernatural revival coming to your faith in the name of Jesus. Now y'all, as we are going forth, we are worshiping, let's go. Let's worship as you are logging on, as you are commenting. Come on, this is not entertainment, but this is engagement. You're not just watching a video. You're not just watching a live stream. You are doing you are making waves in the realm of the spirit. You are making waves. Come on and wake up your house with the sound of worship. Wake up your neighbors with the sound of worship. Wake up your place with the sound of worship. When was the last time your walls heard your worship? When was the last time you worshiped the Lord? And as you are worshiping him, y'all, we are not worshiping out of a headspace, but we are worshiping out of our heart space, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. We are not worshiping, trying to figure out what to say. But God, we thank you. We bless your holy name for you are Alpha. You are Omega. You are beginning. You are the end. Don't try to figure out some religious rhetoric. My God, just worship the Lord. When we begin to worship, they that worship the Lord must worship him in spirit and and in truth, when we begin to worship, worship shifts your atmosphere. That's why worship is so important while we are fasting. Worship shifts your atmosphere. Worship feeds your spirit. Glory to the Most High God. We worship you, God. We adore you, Father. There is none like you. You are our deliverer. You are our way maker. You are our strength. You are our king. You are our father. We cry, Abba. We are not forsaken. We are not abandoned. We are not left out, but God, we thank you that we are covered. We are protected. We are surrounded. We are Yelemosha, safe in you. You are our refuge. You are our strong tower. You are our mighty man of war. You are our God of thunder. You are the Lord of hosts. You are the great I am. You are those him that was, he who is, and who he who is to come. You are the God that became flesh. You are the word made flesh. Robosha, there no man can come to the Father except through the Son. And we thank you for you, oh God. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for Jesus being the chief cornerstone. We thank you for Jesus being our Rebecca Shada, being the blameless lamb. We thank you for your strength. We thank you for your joy. We thank you for making a way. We thank you for bringing us out. We thank you for restoration. We thank you for restoration of the mind. We could have lost our minds had it not been for you. We could have lost our minds had it not been for your word but oh God we praise you that you kept our minds in perfect peace oh God because we seek you we thank you God that you are our aim you are our target you are everything you are our strength you are our source you are our light oh God in the name of Jesus we thank you father that you are the one that breaks down the yokes you are the one that breaks down the barriers you are the one that breaks down the Rebecca you are the one that breaks down every plan of the enemy. You are our high priest and you are sovereign. You need nobody's permission to do whatever you want to do. You are sovereign. You are God and you are God alone. There is none like you. Nobody is on your level. Nobody is in your classif classification. Nobody is in your space. You are in a place all by yourself and you are sovereign. You do whatever you want to do because you can. You are God and beside you there is none other. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are El Shaddai. You are Yahweh. You are Adonai. 
You are the first and you are the last. You are the first thing on my mind. You are priority. You are the song in my heart. You are the air that I breathe. You are the blood in my veins. You are my way in. You are my reason why. You are my way out. You are my way through. You are my way over. You are my way under. And God, you are always there. We thank you, God, that you are consistent. You change it not. Oh, God, we praise you that you are You are consistent, God. You've never left us. You've never dropped us. We thank you right now, Father, that you are not like man. We thank you, God, that you are not like man. We praise your holy name. You are not like man. We thank you, God, that you are not a God of flesh. You are not a God of clay. You are not a God of mud. You are not a God in a building. But God, you are omnipotent. You are omnipresent. You are always there. We praise you right now, Father, that you are the God in our midst. We thank you in the name of Jesus. You are the God that answers by fire. We praise you in the name of Jesus. You are the God that always does it. We praise you in the name of Jesus. You are the God. Hashekiah. You are the God of fire. You are the God of revival. You are the God of the wind. And we thank you that we feel your wind right now. We thank you, God, for your Holy Spirit. We thank you that the Holy Spirit is our comforter. The Holy Spirit is our paraclete. The Holy Spirit is our guide. The Holy Spirit, yes, God. The Holy Spirit is our protector. The Holy Spirit is our intercessor. And we give you glory, God. We give you praise, oh God. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus, that you didn't leave us alone, but you left us with a comforter and we praise your name God we glorify you father that you have come this week to root out the old things you have come this week God you have gathered us this week to take away the old man you have gathered us this week to take away the old mind you have gathered us this week God to take away the old heart you have gathered us this week God to take away the old desires you have gathered us this week father to take away the old shackles we praise you in the name of Jesus that you are breaking shackles off of the mind you are causing shackles to fall off the hearts you are causing shackles to fall off the spirit you are causing shackles to fall off of our faith in the name of Jesus we praise your God that everything that hindered our faith you are causing it right now to be broken and destroyed in the name of Jesus we thank your father that everything that was hindering our vision you are causing it right now to be broken and destroyed we give your glory Glory, Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, that the scales are removed uh, off of our eyes. Uh, and God, we can see. Uh, we can see by faith uh, and not by sight. Uh, we give you glory and praise uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that you are tabernacling uh, our vision this week. Uh, you are causing us to see uh, what the enemy don't want us to see. Uh, you are causing us to see uh, what is hidden behind. Yeah, God, uh, you are causing us to do uh, great and mighty things. Uh, for you said in your word, God, uh, that they that know their God uh, will do great and mighty exploits uh, and we praise you now uh, that we won't allow fear uh, to dominate us uh, we won't allow fear uh, to hinder us uh, we won't allow fear uh, to hold us back uh, we won't allow fear uh, to hold us captive uh, we thank your father uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that you came to set the captives free uh, you came to heal the brokenhearted uh, you came to heal the wounded uh, you came to heal the ones with a contrite spirit uh, and we glorify you today God in the name of Jesus uh, that by our faith uh, we are healed by your stripes uh, we thank you and we glorify the day God uh, that by our faith uh, we can come boldly to the throne of grace uh, we praise you in the name of Jesus uh, that we will not be timid uh, in the name of Jesus uh, we will not we will not be scared uh, we will not be timid uh, we will not be fearful uh, of man faces uh, cause God we know uh, by faith that what can man do to me uh, what can flesh do to us uh, we praise you God in the name of Jesus uh, that some men trust in chariots uh, some men trust in horses uh, but we will call on the name of our God uh, for the name of our God is a strong tower the name of our God is a strong tower the name of our God is a strong tower the name of our God is a strong tower the righteous can run therein uh, and they are saved uh, and God we praise you uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that you have our homes uh, you have us protected uh, with the blood of Jesus Jesus, uh, you have us protected uh, from pestilence and wickedness. Uh, you have us protected uh, from the thief in the night. Uh, we give you glory and praise uh, that when we went to sleep last
last night uh, we woke up with our right mind. Uh, we praise you now, God, uh, that we woke up uh, with our hearts built in faith uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and God, right now, uh, we build up uh, according to your word uh, in Nehemiah 2 and 8, uh, 2 and 18, uh, where the Bible says, uh, glory be the God. Uh, then Nehemiah said, uh, then I told him that the hand of my God uh, was good upon me. Uh, we declare in the name of Jesus uh, that your great hand uh, is good upon us. Uh, we declare in the name of Jesus uh, that your right hand uh, is strong upon us. Uh, we declare in the name of Jesus uh, that we will not be afraid uh, of the sin ballots or Tobiases uh, because God, your hand uh, is strong upon us. Uh, your hand covers us. Uh, your hand keeps us. Uh, your hand surrounds us. Uh, your hand protects us. Uh, your hand provides for us. Uh, we don't have to beg because uh, your hand provides for us. Uh, and God, we give you glory and praise uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that God, you said, uh, Nehemiah said in Nehemiah 2 and 18, uh, and they said, let us arise and build. Uh, so they strengthened their hands uh, for this good work. Uh, and God, we declare, uh, we declare in faith uh, that this week uh, we will arise and build. 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 Uh, get up, man of God. Uh, arise and build. Uh, get up, woman of God. Uh, arise and build. Uh, get up, child of God. Uh, and arise and build. Uh, I activate uh, in the name of Jesus uh, every person uh, that was on the sidelines. Uh, arise and build. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you got the plan. Uh, you got the land. Uh, now get your faith uh, and arise and build. Uh, you won't be stopped. Uh, you won't be hindered. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, glory be to God. Uh, and I declare, uh, according to Nehemiah uh, 6 and 3, uh, that Nehemiah said, uh, why should we come down? Uh, why should the work stop uh, and leave it and come down to you? Uh, we declare in the name of Jesus uh, that as you are building in faith, uh, you will not be distracted uh, by the demon spirits. Uh, you will not be distracted uh, by low-level demons. Uh, you will not be distracted uh, by low-level and low-functioning demons. Uh, you will not be distracted uh, by the little foxes. Uh, you will not be distracted uh, by the little stuff. Uh, you will not be distracted uh, from the work. Uh, you will not be distracted uh, while you're building. Uh, but we declare in the name of Jesus uh, that God sets uh, your face like a flint. Uh, God sets uh, your eyes like a flint. Uh, we declare right now uh, that you are focused uh, and you won't come down. Uh, you won't come down. Uh, somebody put in the comments, uh, I won't come down. Uh, I refuse to come down. Uh, I refuse to look down. Uh, my promise ain't down. Uh, but I will look unto the hills uh, from which cometh my help. Uh, for my help uh, comes from the Lord. Uh, we declare right now, uh, I won't go down. Uh, I won't come down. Uh, I won't look down. Uh, I won't go back. Uh, I will not stop. Uh, I will not pause. Uh, I will not doubt. Uh, I will not have uh, the spirit of uncertainty. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I won't come down. Uh, I won't come down. Uh, my business won't go down. Uh, my ministry won't go down. Uh, my faith won't go down. Uh, my fire won't go down. Uh, my anointing won't go down. Uh, the glory of God won't go down. Uh, the mantle that's on your life, uh, it won't come down. Uh, and it won't go down. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, glory be to God. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, so the Bible says uh, in Nehemiah 6 and 9, uh, from the message version uh, of the Bible, uh, the Bible says uh, that Nehemiah said they were trying uh, to intimidate us uh, into quitting. Uh, the enemy is trying uh, to intimidate you uh, into quitting. Uh, the enemy is trying uh, to intimidate you uh, into doubting God. Uh, the enemy is trying uh, intimidation tactics. Uh, the enemy is trying uh, with spiritual gaslighting, uh, trying to make you think uh, that you are crazy, uh, trying to make you think uh, that what you saw, uh, God didn't send. Uh, the enemy is trying uh, to intimidate you uh, to give up the fight. Uh, he's trying uh, to intimidate you, I feel God, uh, to give up the war. Uh, he's trying uh, to intimidate you uh, to give up your purpose. Uh, but Nehemiah said, uh, they thought they'll give up. Uh, they thought that I'll never finish. Uh, but Nehemiah said, uh, I prayed uh, and God gave me strength. Uh, I declare uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, as you are 
building, God giving you strength as you are building, as you are going from phase to phase, that God gives you supernatural strength as you are ascending, my God, to a different dimension, that God gives you supernatural strength. You are not weak, as the enemy suppose. You are not weak like the devil thought. You are not weak like he thought. You are stronger than you realize. You are more equipped than you realize. And every lie sent by the enemy trying to whisper in your ear to make you doubt. We cancel the lie. Ha! The lie that the enemy says uh, nobody will support you. Uh, we cancel the lie uh, and we release right now uh, nations uh, who don't even know who you are, uh, but they are waiting in line uh, for what you carry. Uh, we cancel out the lie uh, that you are not good enough uh, and we release uh, the report of the Lord uh, that says uh, he who begun uh, a good work in you, uh, he shall perform it. Uh, we release the report of the Lord uh, that says uh, you are more than a conqueror. We release the report of the Lord that says greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. In the name of Jesus we declare, we prophesy, we activate your most holy faith in the name of Jesus. Glory to God that you will not quit. You know what quitting feels like but God said this week he's going to show you what it feels like to finish. You know uh, what giving up feels like uh, but God said this week uh, I'm going to show you uh, what it feels like to complete it uh, you know uh, what it, my God throwing in the towel looks like uh, you know uh, what quitting looks like uh, you know uh, what starting over looks like uh, but God says uh, not this time uh, you've been circling around uh, that mountain long enough uh, you've been doubting the gift, the gift of God uh, on your life long enough uh, you've been saying out of your mouth uh, that God ain't gonna do it, but not anymore. Your mouth, your words, and your promise will align in the name of Jesus. You shall declare what thus saith the Lord. If God didn't send it, you won't accept it. If God didn't release it, you won't accept it. If God didn't manifest it, you won't agree with it. If it don't line up with your covenant, you won't you won't bow down to it. In the name of Jesus, glory be to God. We only believe the report of the Lord. We only declare the report of the Lord. We only proclaim the report of the Lord. And when Nehemiah didn't come down, what should have taken him 11 years to finish, he finished it in 52 days. Can I prophesy to somebody as God is building your faith, it ain't going to take as long as you thought. It ain't going to take as much as you thought. It ain't going to take my God as much effort as you thought. My God because God says when you build up your faith, what your body couldn't do, your faith will do. What your bank account can't do, your faith will do. What your mind and resume and degree can't do, your faith will do. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy in the name of Jesus that God is building up your most holy faith in the name of Jesus according to Ephesians 3 and 16 put that in the comments Ephesians 3 and 16 Ephesians 3 and 16 Ephesians 3 and 16 Woo! Ephesians 3 and 16 glory to God Glory to God. Ephesians 3 and 16. Here it is. Put it in the comments. Ephesians 3 and 16. Ephesians 3 and 16. Put it in the comment. He's building your faith. Your faith is being built. Glory to God. Your faith in God. Ramamamashaya is being built. It's going to a Shaya. Ramaniyama Sokova. And God says, I've given you proof over the last 15 months that I'm setting you up for a supernatural season. He said, I've been giving you proof 
I've been showing you clues, uh, giving you confirmation uh, over the last 15 months uh, that I'm setting you up uh, for a supernatural company about Shia, for a supernatural season uh, and a supernatural harvest. Uh, there are some of us on this line, uh, you lost some things uh, because God said uh, you had to make room uh, for the greater there is to come. Uh, there are some of us on this line, uh, you went through some situations, uh, you went through some seasons, uh, seasons of detachment. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, oh, you ought to thank God, uh, my God, uh, for the divine detachment uh, because every now and then uh, there are leeches uh, and drainers uh, that the enemy will send your way uh, to try to drain you of your faith. Uh, there are leeches and drainers uh, that the enemy will send your way uh, to try to drain you of your focus. Uh, there are leeches uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, but I hear the Lord saying uh, this week, uh, my God, my God, uh, you will experience uh, a divine detachment. Uh, detachment ain't always a bad thing. Uh, a divine detachment, uh, divine disconnects. Uh, divine if they are not for your future, if they do not agree in faith, uh, God said they have to be divinely detached uh, and divinely removed. Uh, not, it ain't nothing wrong with them. Uh, it ain't that y'all hate each other. Uh, y'all ain't enemies. Uh, but God said, I'm detaching you uh, from the thing that's holding your faith down. Uh, I'm detaching you uh, from the thing that's slowing down your faith. Uh, I'm detaching you uh, from the thing that's stunting your faith. Uh, I'm detaching you uh, from the very thing. Uh, glory be to God uh, that's causing your faith uh, to remain storming and stagnant uh, and dormant. Uh, I'm uh, detaching you. Uh, glory to God. Uh, I'm detaching you uh, from the drainers. Uh, my God, God says uh, in this next season, uh, you got to be around somebody uh, that's going to spark your faith. Uh, your circle uh, got to charge your faith. Uh, your circle uh, got to be have the faith uh, like Mary Magdalene uh, and the other Marys uh, when they saw Jesus uh, in the tomb, uh, when they saw the, the stone uh, rolled over the tomb, uh, when they looked uh, and they saw he was buried, uh, they was the first ones there, uh, the first ones at the tomb, uh, and the last one, the, 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 the first ones at the cross, uh, and the last ones at the grave. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, but when they got up that next morning, uh, they didn't let nothing stop them. Uh, they didn't let a, a, a stone stop them. Uh, they didn't let soldiers stop them. Uh, they prepared themselves. Uh, they had their oil. Uh, they had their spices. Uh, and they said, I'm getting in. Uh, and I'm going in to anoint uh, the body of Jesus. Uh, and you need somebody uh, that's going to roll with you in your faith. Uh, you need somebody uh, that's going to charge you in your faith. Uh, you need somebody uh, that's speaking the same faith language uh, that you speaking. Uh, get away uh, from that fear-based language. Uh, get away uh, from that intimidation. Uh, don't want nothing. Uh, don't want nobody to have nothing. Uh, type of mentality uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that may have been good. Uh, get away from that old mentality. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, my God, my God. Uh, that don't want to leave uh, and go nowhere. Uh, that don't want to grow. Uh, don't want to expand. Uh, you are too great uh, to stay where you are. Uh, you are too great uh, to remain a secret. Uh, you are too great. Uh, there's too much greatness on you. There's too much faith on you uh, to remain. Uh, my God, uh, hidden in the background uh, and hidden in the closet. Uh, God said, I'm building your faith. Uh, my God, in the very thing uh, that you thought you couldn't do, uh, watch you do it like a pro. Uh, the very thing uh, that you thought you couldn't have, uh, you're going to have an abundance of it. Uh, the very thing uh, that you look like you weren't qualified uh, to walk in. Uh, when you build your faith, uh, God takes the brakes. Uh, you remove the brakes uh, off of your life. Uh, the Bible says, uh, it ain't in my notes what I got to say. It, uh, the Bible says uh, that God said the heavens are mine, uh, but the earth uh, I gave uh, to the children of men. Uh, Y'all don't want to have no church. Uh, God says, uh, I got the heavens. Uh, now I need my children uh, who are walking in faith, uh, who are talking in faith, uh, who are living by faith uh, to run the earth. Uh, I need you. I created you uh, to dominate uh, in the earth realm. I created you to have dominion in the earth realm. I didn't create you to compete, but I created you to dominate in the name of Jesus. Divine division, divine dominion, divine detachment. You got to detach from that Ahab spirit, that Joab spirit, that Jezebel spirit, that Reuben spirit, that Simeon and Levi spirit. 
Glory to God. Rabababashaya. Jonah, Jonah, they have spirit. In the name of Jesus, you got to detach from that actual spirit. Glory to God. Even if y'all got the same last name, but y'all don't have the same faith name. Rabbi, I still honor you. I'm still cool with you, but I got to be about my father's business. I got to do what God called me to do. I got to go what God calls me to go in the name of Jesus. And some of y'all, while you're detaching, you better detach from your own words, your own self-cancellation, your own self-murder, your own self-condemnation, your own self-guilt, your own self-denial. You better detach in the name of Jesus. We break it. Go by sire. Self-detachment. Self-suicide. Suicide of the vision. Suicide of faith. We destroy in the name of Jesus. Hey! Oh! Because you've been standing. Lord have mercy. Can I prophesy over somebody? Oh, Because you've been standing for the last 15 months. Here's the word. You've been standing in faith for the last 15 months. And here's the word. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles. Watch this. I'm going to read it from two translations. 2 Chronicles 15 and 7 from the KJV. And then I'm going to read 2 Chronicles. Put that in the comments, 15 and 7 from the message version of the Bible. Here it is, y'all. Second Chronicles 15 and 7. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. My faith on fire. My faith on fire. Oh, see, my faith on fire. Rabbi Shadai, my faith on fire. Keisha, my faith on fire. Come on, Amy, my faith on fire. Casey family, your faith on fire. Come on, Rabbi Yanana, my Shandana Bosaya. Lillian, yes, God. Scott family, your faith on fire. In the name of Jesus, all family, your faith on fire. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles, yes, God, from the 2 Chronicles 15, verses 7 from the KJV, and then I'm going to read it from the, from the message version. The Bible says, be strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak. For your work shall be rewarded. That same scripture. Glory to God. In the message version of the Bible. The Bible says. Glory to God. But it's different with you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Somebody declare. Declare. It's different with me. My faith makes me different. The way God is building my faith is different. It's different with me. The message version. The first few words says. But it's different with you. Somebody declare over your life. It's different with me. We don't move the same kind of way. It's different with me. We believe. Well, I don't believe God like y'all do. It's different with me. It's different with me. I move different. I trust different. I worship different. I love different. It's different with me. I can't be average in my faith. I can't be average in my love for Jesus. I can't be average in my worship. I can't be average in my prayer. I can't be average in my pursuit. It's different with you. The Bible says, glory to God, in 2 Chronicles 15 and 7, but it's different with you. Be strong. Take heart. Here's where we shout. Because the Bible says, payday is coming. Can somebody put that in the comments right now? Payday is coming. Let me build your faith in the name of Jesus. God says, payday is coming. Payday is coming. Payday is coming. You're none of my shy. Because you didn't lose your faith. Payday is coming. Because you didn't give up on God. Payday is coming. Because you didn't put your hand to the plow. And look back. Payday is coming. Somebody put in the comments. Payday is coming. Declare over your life. Declare over your ministry. Declare over your business. Payday is coming. Payday is coming. God is repaying you for your faithfulness. God is repaying you because you didn't give up. God is repaying you. God is compensating you. I release and declare divine compensation in the name of Jesus. Payday is coming. And this ain't just paying money, but payday in oil. 
payday in anointing, uh, payday in the things of God, uh, payday in miracles, signs and wonders, uh, payday in the fire of God, uh, payday in revival, uh, payday in strength, uh, payday in health, uh, yeah, 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 bashundola, bashaya. payday is coming uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, payday is coming uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you've been faithful over the few things, uh, you've been faithful over the small things, uh, you've been faithful over the little things, uh, payday is coming, uh, and can I tell somebody, uh, just as God did with Nehemiah, uh, it didn't take 11 years, uh, but it only took 52 days, uh, can I prophesy to somebody, uh, that it won't take years uh, for you to see the harvest. Uh, it won't take years uh, for you to see the manifestation. Uh, it won't take years uh, for you to see God's hand moving. Uh, it won't take years uh, for you to see God work. Uh, it won't take years uh, for you to get your healing. Uh, it won't take years uh, for your children to be saved. Uh, it won't take years uh, for you to arise and walk. Uh, it won't take years. Uh, glory be to God uh, for you to see uh, what God said. Uh, it won't take years. But I prophesy that as your faith increases, what faith does, faith accelerates your divine time. Faith accelerates your appointed time. Faith accelerates. Glory be to God. Manifestation happens at the speed of your faith. Manifestation, somebody need to write that down, happens at the speed of your faith. If you got 11 year faith, you're going to have 11 year manifestation. Come on, somebody. If you got 30-year faith, you will have 30-year manifestation. But if you got like we got, that Hebrews 11 and 1 faith, that now faith, glory be to the most high God. It don't take God long to do nothing. When your faith is there, glory to God. God will release it. Lord, have mercy. Your faith accelerates. Your faith moves it up. Your faith advances it. In the name of Jesus, my God, do you have now faith, now faith, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can ask or think, according to the power that worketh within us. Yeah, God, that now faith, you ain't got to wait, my God, till the doctor confirm that you healed. You confirm it with your mouth. Now I am healed. You don't have to wait until the court say it's approved but you declare in faith it's approved now I wish I had somebody right now to build your faith up and whatever you got on your altar if it's approval declare approved not I will be approved but I am approved glory to God not I will be healed I am healed not they will be delivered they are delivered not that I will get it I already got it just as the angel uh, had to tell Daniel, uh, he said, when you first set your heart uh, to pray to the Lord, uh, your prayers were heard, uh, your prayers were answered, uh, but the prince of Persia uh, withstood me uh, 21 days. Uh, we declare in the name of Jesus uh, that every prince of Persia uh, that's holding up uh, your manifestation, uh, every prince of Persia, uh, every principality uh, that's holding up uh, what you've been believing God for, uh, we declare uh, that God uh, released the heaven Hosts uh, to combat uh, against the ones uh, that's fighting against us. Uh, we declare in the name of Jesus uh, that Jehovah Gibber, uh, the mighty champion, uh, the mighty man of war, uh, Jehovah Gibber, uh, Jehovah Gibber, uh, rise up uh, and scatter every demon. Uh, Jehovah Gibber, uh, rise up uh, and scatter every demon. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, Satan, the Lord rebuke you, uh, and the hand of God binds you. Uh, my God, my God, uh, you ain't got to wait. Uh, to man approve you. You are already approved by God. I'm approved. I'm approved. I'm approved. I'm approved. Speak it in faith. It's approved. It's done. Speak it in faith. The blessings of the Lord. Make it rich and add no sorrow. It's already done. And if God don't send that, it's because he got greater on the way. Lord, help me. If God don't send that, that don't mean that he failed. That means that he got greater in my future. If God don't send that, that don't mean that he's a liar. That means he has greater in my future. 
I'm still approved. I don't need man to confirm you approved. You don't need an institution to confirm you approved. You don't need a lending agent to confirm your approval. You are approved before you entered into the earth realm. Because the Bible says in Jeremiah 1 and 5, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I approved you. I anointed you. I consecrated you. I had already set you up. Ah, he had already set you up. He had already set you up. He had already set you up. Somebody say, somebody declare, approve, 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 approve. Mm. Approve, approve, approve. Approve, approve, approve. Approve, approve, approve. Here it is, y'all. Here it is. Let's go. There are three levels of faith that I want to deal with today. Woo! Approve, approve, approve. There are three levels of faith that I want to deal with. Glory to God. And I got to get on up out of here. Approve, approve, approve. Approve, approve, approve. Approve, approve, approve. It ain't going to make, your approval ain't going to make sense. Woo! Your approval, Lord have mercy. It ain't going to make sense. It, 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 it will defy rationale because my God, it's not a flesh move. It's a faith move. La, la, la. It ain't going to make sense. It ain't going to add up. Yo, God. Rabba Shokoba. Because it's a faith move. It ain't a flesh move. Oh, money. Ah, you still looking for flesh to confirm you. Baby, get away from that. On this fast, we crucifying the flesh. My God. Flesh might not ever see it and you already got it. Oh! F flesh may not ever agree with it and you already got it. Faith, f flesh may not ever, my God, come into agreement, but you already got it. Here it is, y'all. The Bible says this, there's a thing called a measure of faith. Everybody type in a measure of faith. This is where many of us are. Many of us are on one of these three levels, but we, we aspire to get to the third level. Here it is, a measure of faith. The Bible says in Romans 12 and 3, for I say the grace given unto you to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought, but to think soberly according to as God has dealt to every man a measure of faith. With the measure of faith, you, it, it, it don't take nothing. There's no effort required to a measure of faith. With the measure of faith, you simply believe in Jesus. You simply, glory to God, and that's good and that's enough. You believe in Jesus. That's a measure of faith. When you first got saved, you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. That's a measure of faith. Every person has a measure of faith. Now some people's measures are greater than others but every person has a measure of faith. Glory to God. And then there's a second level of faith and that's the spirit of faith. The Bible says, come on, write this scripture down. This is where I want you to get into now. Write this scripture down. 2 Corinthians 4 and verse, verse 2 Corinthians 4 verse 13. Put it in the comments. Come on here Instagram. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 13. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 14. 13, I'm sorry. Sorry, 2 Corinthians 4, verse 13. Here it is. The Bible says, talks about the spirit of faith. Now somebody shout, the spirit of faith. Now that's a little bit more faith than a measure of faith. The measure of faith believe that Jesus has accepted Jesus in their heart. They believe that Jesus is Lord. Praise the Lord. The spirit of faith says this. We having the same spirit of faith according as it is written, I believed and therefore I have spoken. We also believe and therefore we speak. Come on here somebody with the spirit of faith. You don't have any problems believing and you can speak it as well. Glory to God. You believe it and therefore you speak it. You believe that God is a healer. Therefore when the doctor says COVID, you declare I'm healed. You believe that God is a way maker. Therefore when a storm comes in, when resources have been challenged, you raise up in the spirit of faith you believe therefore you speak it with many of us in the church that's where we are right there glory to God if you've been saved for any measure of time and you're fasting and you're filled with the Holy Spirit you have the spirit of faith you can believe it and you can speak it you believe it and so you speak it my God you don't hold back you believe it and therefore you speak it you believe it you don't doubt and therefore you speak it out. I believe I can have it. Therefore, I'm going to speak that I got it. 
it. I believe I can do it. Therefore, I'm going to speak that I've done it. I believe that it will happen. Therefore, I speak that it's already done. I believe that God said it. Ha! Therefore, I speak that it's so. Ah, I believe. Therefore, I speak. I believe that he'll fight my battles. So therefore, I don't have to avenge myself. I can stand still and see the salvation of the Lord thy God. I believe, glory to God, that he will be my footstool. That's why I don't have to, my God, I can speak it. I can speak that I'll be in a room that I ain't never been in. I believe it and therefore I spoke it. Glory to God. I believe that I can be her Shekobah on a platform that I've never graced. So I believe it and therefore I spoke it. I believe that I will work with somebody that I've been praying to work with. I believed it and therefore I spoke it. When you believe it, glory to God, you better speak it. It's one thing to believe it. That's just the measure of faith. But baby, you got to open up your mouth and speak it. Here's why. Because Satan is not a mind reader. Satan is not a mind reader. He don't know your thoughts. He can only capitalize off of what you say. That's why the Bible says, speak those things that be not as though, as though they are. The Bible didn't say, think those things that be not as though they are. That's why the Bible says that life and death lies in the power of your tongue. The Bible did not say that life and death lies in the power in your mind. Y'all don't want to have no church up in here. So when you believe it, glory to God, you speak it. That's why the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Come on here, somebody. Because I believed it, and therefore I spoke it. I'm not going to agree with the lie, because I'm not going to speak a lie. I'm not going to agree with what Satan says, because I'm not going to speak what Satan says. Somebody declare right now, my words are stronger than the witch's words. My words are stronger than the warlock's words. My words are stronger than the enemy's words. My words are stronger than the lies that have been told on me. My words are stronger than the rumors that have been spread about me. Ha! My words is stronger. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I believed it, therefore I spoke it. So if you see me talking to myself, don't interrupt me. If you see me talking to myself, don't think I'm crazy. If you see me talking to myself, just go on about your business because I'm believing and therefore I'm speaking. If you see me declaring over my life, don't look at me strange. Oh, they looked at David strange too. But David said, my God, when the Amalekites had attacked my whole city and family, attacked the people that's connected to me, the people that serve me, the soldiers that serving me, the Amalekites had attacked Ziklag, burned it with fire, took in all of their family members, put them in prison, all, all of David's men who called him king and in 1 Samuel the second, the 22nd chapter, now in 1 Samuel the 30th chapter, they want to kill David, but David said, give me the linen ephod, let me go into worship, let me get on my face before God, let me go back to the one who anointed me, let me go back to the one that I learned about uh, who was with me when I was in the field. Uh, let me go back to the one uh, who was with me when I whooped the Philistine giant. Uh, David began. Uh, the Bible says to encourage himself. Uh, my God, when you believe it, uh, you can speak it uh, and encourage yourself. Uh, what have you said about yourself lately? What have you declared uh, about yourself lately? Uh, what have you proclaimed uh, about yourself lately? Uh, what have you spoken uh, about yourself? self lately I believed and therefore I spoke now that's the spirit of faith glory to God that's the spirit of faith but now here comes a thing we talked about the measure of faith I believe in Jesus he is Lord he's the Lord of my life we talked about the spirit of faith I believe and therefore I spoke we talked about the spirit of faith I believed and therefore I spoke now here's the third level of faith and this is where we need to get to in this fast and that is the gift of faith. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 12 uh, uh, verse 9 from the Amplified Version. Put that in the comments right now. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 9 from the Amplified Version. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 9 from the Amplified Version. Glory to God. The Bible says the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 12 verse 9 from the Amplified Version, the Bible says to another wonder working faith. Come on. 
to another wonder work in faith uh -huh, is given by the same Holy Spirit and to another the extraordinary gifts of healing by the one spirit uh, to another wonder work in faith now somebody put in there wonder work in faith come on here somebody wonder work in faith that's greater than the spirit of faith that's greater than a measure of faith but wonder work in faith Lord I feel you in here today that's the type of faith glory Glory to God that when you ain't got a kidney, you all of a sudden grow a kidney back in your body and ain't never been to surgery. That's wonder working faith. Y'all don't want to have no church up in here. Wonder working faith is when, when somebody ain't never walked a day in their life and then all of a sudden they get up leaping and running and jumping. That's wonder working faith. Wonder working faith is a whole different level of faith. Wonder working faith is what the is where the enemy don't want you to get to. That's when glory to God. You are not just in an open heaven, but the open heaven is your way of life when you're in a wonder work in faith. Miracle signs and wonders are not seasonal. Miracle signs and wonders, glory to God, are not regulated by times and seasons. But when you are walking in wonder work in faith, in the gift of faith, glory be to God. Every time you turn around, you will see another miracle. Every time you turn around, you will see another breakthrough. Every time you turn around, you will see God doing something. Not only do you speak it, not only do you believe it, not only do you speak it, but baby, when you got the gift of faith, when you got the wonder work in faith, everything you speak, everything you believe, you shall have. That's the kind of faith that'll move mountains. That's the kind of faith. Lord have mercy. That's the kind of faith. Not only do I believe it, not only do I speak it, but every time I open up my mouth, I bring it in. I possess it. I have it. I take ownership of it. I take hold of it. I take possessions of it. I take occupied. When I speak it, God moves. Don't you know, people of God, that when we are made in his image and in his likeness, when God says that he put man, he breathed breath in man, and man became a living body, Lord have mercy in here. When that happened, God breathed a little bit of himself in man. Y'all don't want to have no church. We know that Adam failed, but come somebody, Lord have mercy, here comes Jesus. Somebody shout, then came Jesus. Yeah, God, then came Jesus, the blameless lamb. He told his apostles, he told the disciples, I go to prepare you a place, but I'm not going to leave you as an orphan. I'm not going to leave you empty. I'm not going to leave you abandoned, but I'm going to send the comforter, the comforter, after I've gone to prepare a place. Glory be to God. And the Bible says, 50 days days after Jesus resurrection glory be to God here comes the fresh wind here comes another wind y'all don't want to have no church here comes the holy wind y'all don't want to have no church when the Bible says that they were in the upper room 120 disciples 120 people were in the upper room tarrying and they were praying they were calling on the name of Jesus and the Bible says that all of a sudden here comes a rushing mighty wind glory be to God. So here comes a second wind. Y'all don't want to have no church. Here comes a fresh wind. Y'all still ain't caught it. And with this fresh wind, glory be to God. And you have faith in Jesus. You can speak to a mountain and tell the mountain to be removed. With this fresh wind, with this holy wind, with this mighty wind, with the rushing wind, the wind of the Holy Spirit, when you begin to speak, glory be to God. Demons trembles. Yokes are destroyed. When you walking up in the realm of the gift of faith, you understand that my words have power and I can speak like I'm being heard. And when I issue a command, all of creation has to obey because I'm not speaking of my own accord, but I am speaking with the power of the Holy Spirit backed up by the gift of faith. Come on, somebody. When you got power, when you got the Holy Spirit, you can speak and receive that wonder work in faith the miracles that don't make sense the stuff that don't make sense supernatural acceleration supernatural compensation supernatural advancement supernatural
supernatural growth, uh, supernatural blooming, uh, supernaturally prospering, uh, supernatural healing, uh, supernatural joy. Uh, yes, God, give me uh, the gift of faith. Uh, build up God. Uh, the gift of faith. Uh, build it up, oh God. Uh, the gift of faith. Uh, the Bible says uh, in Acts the sixth chapter, uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, Acts the sixth chapter, verse eight, the Bible says, uh, and Stephen uh, being full of faith, uh, glory to God, uh, being full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles uh, among the people. Uh, he said, and Stephen uh, being full uh, of faith and power, uh, glory to God, uh, did great wonders and miracles uh, among the people. Uh, I need somebody uh, to put your name in the comments. Uh, and Latrice, uh, full of faith and power, uh, did great wonders and miracles uh, among the people. Uh, glory to God. And Dr. Abernathy, uh, full of great wisdom and power, full of great faith power, uh, did great wonders and miracles uh, among the people. Uh, put your name in the comments. Uh, and the Reed family, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles uh, among the people. Uh, and Diamond, uh, full of faith and power, uh, did great wonders and miracles uh, among the people. Uh, and Wendy, uh, full of great power, uh, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles uh, among the people. Uh, put your name in the comments uh, and declare, uh, put your name uh, in the scripture and declare uh, according to Acts 6 and 8, uh, I will uh, remain full of faith uh, and power, uh, full of faith uh, and power, uh, full of faith uh, and power. Uh, I will uh, remain full of faith uh, and full of power. Yeah, I'll do uh, great wonders and miracles uh, among God's people. Uh, with your hands, uh, you will lay hands on the sick. Uh, with your feet, uh, you will tread uh, upon serpents and scorpions. Uh, with your mouth, uh, you will move mountains uh, with the gift of faith. Uh, because faith is, uh, faith is, uh, faith is, uh, faith is. Uh, it's a verb uh, and an action. Uh, it's a verb uh, and an action. Uh, it's a noun. Uh, Faith is a, a substance. Faith is Rabasha. I walk by faith. It's a verb and it's a noun. Faith is a substance. That's a noun. I walk by faith. That's a verb. In the name of Jesus, by faith, you can do it. By faith, you can have it. Build up your most holy faith. Your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Your faith will not stand uh, in the wisdom of men uh, but in the power of God uh, use your faith uh, as a verb uh, and an action word uh, as a noun uh, and an action word uh, stand on it uh, that's a noun uh, walk in it uh, that's a verb uh, walk by faith uh, not by sight uh, manifest uh, those wonder working miracles uh, that's a noun uh, and it's a verb uh, in the name of Jesus build up higher uh, Build up, yes, God. Build up, yes, God. Build up, how? Oh, my faith in the name. Oh, the gift of faith. Woo! Increase our faith. Increase our faith. Increase our faith. Increase it. Increase it. That's it, Tika. Declare it over your life. You will remain in faith and power. And great miracles and wonders will be worked through you among the people. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Kandarabasha. Rabasa. I ain't scared of no devil. My God, in the name of Jesus. You will not be afraid of a demon now. You will not ever doubt yourself another day. Yea, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, don't you feel no evil? Because God is with you. A thousand may fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Yalabashai, and no weapon, Rabokoba, formed against you will be able to prosper. Your faith, my God, will fight for you. Your faith will be your shield. Your faith will be your protection. You are protected by your faith. Build up. Ha! I got to go build up, build up, build up, build up, build up your faith, increase it, stand on it, walk in it. Your faith is a noun, your faith is a verb. Use it both ways. Woo! 
It's a noun and it's a verb. Yeah! It's a noun. Ha! And it's a verb. Oh, I will not die. I will not die. You will not die. You will not give up. You will not give up. You will not throw in a towel. You will not forfeit. Increase your faith. The Bible says in Psalm 16 and 8, with him at my right hand, I'll never be shaken. Rabbi Yataya. Y'all know I had to throw that in. Psalm 16 and 8. Glory to God. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. I will be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. I will not be shaken. I will not be shaken. I will not be shaken. I declare in the name of Jesus that your faith has made you whole. I declare in the name of Jesus that your faith has made you well. I declare in the name of Jesus, my God, that you will have boldness in the Lord thy God. In the name of Jesus, I declare in the name of Jesus that you will come boldly to the throne of grace in the name of Jesus build up your faith charge your faith strengthen your faith I declare in the name of Jesus that God has lit a heart has lit a fire on your faith I declare in the name of Jesus according to Jude 20 but be ye building up on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus your faith bold boldly go for it Boldly believe it and boldly take it. Ah, boldly believe it. Boldly speak it and boldly take it. Boldly believe it. Boldly speak it and boldly take it. The kingdom of heaven suffereth violent and the violent and the ones who are violent in their faith and the ones who are violent in the word and the ones who are violent take it by force. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes, God. Yeah. In the name. Ha. Glory to God. In the name. Woo. Ah. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Ramaniela Labosha. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Put the ways to give on the screen. Glory to God. Put the ways to give. Woo! Ah! When you sow, ha! You are sowing a seed of faith. Glory to God. Glory to God. You are sowing a seed of faith. You believe it. Woo -hoo. Therefore, you speak it and you're going to seal it with a seed. The ways to give. Dr. Abbott had to put the ways to give on the screen for Instagram. The ways to give. Cash Shepherds, dollar sign Latrice Ryan. LatriceRyan.com. Glory to God. Cash App is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. LatriceRyan.com. Let it be Hoshandiada. LatriceRyan.com. Give Lafay is Latrice Ryan Ministries. In the name of Jesus. Rebeko Mama Mashande. LatriceRyan.com. When you sow that seed, glory to God. Rabababoshaya. You are sowing that God builds your faith. Woo! Labatada for the gift of faith. Wonder working faith. Wonder working miracles. Will my seed produce? Wonder working breakthrough. Shall my seed produce? Some of us are sowing in the realms of tens, twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, ten million. In the name of Jesus. You are sowing that seed, Rabasha, a seed of faith. I believe it, therefore I spoke it. I believe it, I spoke it, I shall have it. I believe, I speak, I shall have it. I believe, I speak, I got it. I believe, I speak, hey! I got it. I believe, I speak, I got it. I believe, I speak, I got it. I believe, I speak, I got it. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Bold wonder work in faith. Wonder work in faith. Wonder work in faith. Wonder work in faith. Work in faith. I don't care what's on your altar. Wonder work in faith. Rebecca in the most high God. Wonder work in faith in Jesus will fix it. I don't care what you have need of. Wonder work in faith in Jesus will fix it. I don't care what you desire. Wonder work in faith in Jesus will fix it. We are still praying and we are fasting. 
in preparation for unshakable faith. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God. In preparation for unshakable faith. We are fasting. We are praying. Glory to God. Unshakable faith is June 18th and 19th. Get in the virtual room. Y'all, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, get in the virtual room. Miracle signs and wonders are in that virtual room. Get in that virtual room. USFaith.org. Make sure your spot is secure. You need this faith revival. We praying now. Glory to God. Ah, but just imagine all day long Friday, Friday night, Saturday, nothing but faith, nothing but faith. We have empowerment classes. We have breakthrough sessions. We have morning manner. We have a miracle service. We have the awakening prayer live. We have credit finance, financial classes. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. We have the awakening prayer live. We have a revival. We have a master class. We have the luncheon. All of this for you in the virtual room. USFaith.org. USFaith.org. Dr. Abinator says unshakable faith in the upper room. That's what I'm talking about. US faith.org usfaith.org 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 be in the virtual room if you can our, our in person is, is sold out don't worry about that you get in the virtual room we're not open up no more spaces y'all and it ain't gonna be on facebook it ain't gonna be live on instagram get in the virtual room in the name of jesus we are pouring into our faith this is an impartation this is an experience this is an encounter an experience and an impartation this is something that we cannot explain it has to you have to live it you have to go in it you have to be in it usfaith.org we're going to be fasting and praying on tomorrow we'll still be fasting and praying on sat on, on friday we, we have two more days of our fast <laughs> glory to god and so watch this y'all for everybody that registered for the fast right you sign up for the fast glory to god you sign up for the fast we're sending you these prayer directives we're sending you our our, our scriptures that we're praying for so that you can pray the word throughout your day glory to God. You ain't just abstaining from food, y'all. We are not just abstaining from food. Glory to God. We are not just abstaining from food. This is a Mother Washington. We praise God that you was you fasted with us. Glory to God. It took you two hours waiting on your greens to cook while you was waiting on the fast to end. Glory to God. We are not. We love you, Mother Washington. We are not. We are not just abstaining from food. This is a sacrifice. This is a consecration. This is a gathering coming back to God. Come render, rending our hearts hearts, not just our garments to Jesus, to the Lord. We're coming with repentance. It's a refreshing. Lord, have mercy. It's a gathering, drawing closer. A fast is a discipline. It's a spiritual discipline that brings you closer to God. A fast is a spiritual discipline that brings you closer to God. Somebody said, I'm feeling all, I'm feeling empowered already on day two. Yes. And you cannot, you can survive a fast. You can complete a fast. We are not led by the God of our belly. We are not making room for our flesh. We're not making provision for our flesh. We are not making provision for our flesh, but this fast is drawing us closer because there's a supernatural outpouring that's getting ready to happen. It is already on the calendar of our faith. It is already on the calendar in the spirit. It's getting ready to happen June 18th and 19th. We got to be ready supernaturally. We got to be ready in the spirit for what God is doing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Terica. Check your email check your spam folder if you register for the fast and you have not received your prayer directives and your uh, 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 scriptures check your spam folders thank you so much Terica Hood I love you thank you uh, uh, check your spam folders and promotional folders because we want we want you to succeed on this fast we ain't setting you up we want you to succeed on this fast but as you are fasting what are we doing we are consecrating we are replacing that meal with food we are setting our atmosphere in worship ah glory to God I see it. I believe it. I speak it and I got it. Cash app is dollar sign Latrice Ryan. LatriceRyan.com. Register for Unshakable Faith. Woo! This one here means something different to me. This Unshakable Faith 2021, it's for me. It's for me. Y'all just going to be there, but it's for me in the name of Jesus. I'm believing God that God will pour out. I'm believing for the supernatural miracle signs and wonders in Jesus name. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance. May all men call you blessed. If you are not saved and you want to be saved, lift up your hands right where you are. If you are not saved and you want to be saved, come on. I can get saved on a fast. I can get saved on a, I can get saved on a prayer line in Jesus name. Lift up your hands and repeat after me, Lord Jesus. I'm sorry for my sins. Come into my heart. Save me, Lord. 
Deliver me, Lord. Renew me, Lord. I believe that you died for my sins. I believe that you rose for my sins. I confess with my mouth, believe in my heart, and accept you over my life as Lord over all. You said in your word in Romans 10 and 9 that if I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead, I will be saved. And just like that, I receive you, Lord, as my Lord and Savior, and you are saved in the name of Jesus. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the fold in the name of Jesus. May the Lord God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance. May all men call you blessed. We seal this prayer with shalom. May there be nothing missing, broken, or lacking in your life. Shalom and God bless you. Bye-bye. Revival and Lunch. Thank you so much for connecting with us. Maybe I've met you on the Awakening Prayer Call. Maybe it was at your church conference. But listen, I want to invite you to unshakable faith. When I tell you it will be life changing, it will be powerful. This is the revival of the year. This is our revival and I want you to be there. If you need an awakening, if you need a revival, if you're ready for your life to go to the next dimension, if you are ready for something new, if you are ready for something, you ready to birth that thing out. You need to be at Unshakable Faith. I want to see you there. The Unshakable Faith Revival and Luncheon. It's being released in your life. A new sound of breakthrough that's being released in your life. A new sound of breakthrough and revival is being released in your mouth. Open up your mouth and give God glory. Give him glory. Give him glory. Hey, Shaya Oh, that's the sound of victory. Hey, God, that's the sound of victory. Yes, God, that's the sound of victory. That's the sound of victory. That's the sound of a release. That's the sound of a release. I got my release and I got my power back. Oh. That's the sound of breakthrough. That's the sound of breakthrough for your children. That's the sound of breakthrough for the men of touch to your last name. That's the sound of revival. Oh, 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 I don't care what the enemy says. I don't care what the media says. I hear a sound concerning my babies. I don't care what the enemy says. It doesn't matter what the media says. I hear a sound from heaven. I hear a sound from heaven. I hear a sound from heaven. Amen. <laughs>